Hi there. Today we're going to talk about being kind. We can be kind at home, at church, and everywhere we go. Let's get started with the fun. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Well, hello boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk! Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. You sounded terrific. And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> Well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a pom-pom, a megaphone, a football, a pom-pom, and a megaphone. What comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? A football. A football. You got it. Hmm. I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea. Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, what feathering fun. <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to a football game. Make sure you grab your megaphone. And don't forget to bring your pom-poms. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Time out on the field. Oh, hello. Welcome, football fans. I'm glad you're here to cheer. And if you need a football, then you have definitely come to the right place. There are plenty of footballs here on the sidelines. But before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah. Great. The best way to hear a story out here is to click on your listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click. 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 Perfect. Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You're ready now. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. And one of my favorite people to read about is a man named Joseph. Let me hear all of you shout, Joseph. Joseph. Way to go. Now, when Joseph was younger, his brothers were not kind to him. They wanted Joseph to go away, so they sold him to a group of traders. These traders then took Joseph to a place called Egypt, where Joseph began working for Potiphar. But you know what? God was with Joseph everywhere he went. God helped Joseph to be kind to the traders and to Potiphar. God also helped Potiphar be kind to Joseph. Let's all clap for Joseph and Potiphar. That's it. But while Joseph was working for Potiphar, 
someone else was not kind to him. They lied about him and had Joseph put in jail. But God helped Joseph be kind to the guard in charge and to all the other prisoners. The guard liked Joseph so much that he put Joseph in charge of all the other people in jail. There were two men in jail with Joseph who had very strange dreams. Hmm. God helped Joseph understand their dreams. So Joseph was kind to the men and explained what their dreams meant. One of the men that Joseph helped got out of jail, but for two whole years, he forgot about how Joseph had been kind to him, and he didn't help Joseph get out of jail. Until one day, when he was working for the king of Egypt, the man heard that the king had a strange dream. Hmm. Then the man remembered how Joseph was kind, and he helped him understand his dream. So he told the king about Joseph, and then Joseph finally got to leave jail to help the king. Joseph was probably sad that he had to wait a long time for the man to be kind to him, and he was probably scared when he first went to jail. But God always helped Joseph be kind to others. Friends, God will help me and you be kind to others too. If you can be kind, let me hear you say this after me. Be kind. Be kind. Wow, thanks for taking the time to hear my story. And I almost forgot. Here's the football you're looking for. I have to get back to the game, but have a safe trip home. Tickety talk. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah, yes. We learned to be kind. Everyone, say this after me. Be kind. Be kind. That's it. And look, here's someone we can help. This is Leo. Leo loves playing football. But one of Leo's teammates is having trouble throwing the ball. Can Leo be kind by laughing at his teammate or by helping his teammate? By helping his teammate. You got it. It's time for us to help Leo so that he and his teammates can have fun playing football together. Let's help Leo by telling him what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Be kind. Be kind. Well, tickety talk. we were right on time to help Leo. He heard what we said. And now he's having fun helping his teammate learn how to throw the football. You and I can have fun when we are kind, too. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking. So let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, it's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. I will do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God And do what's right I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. 
time to travel We're gonna do what's right We're gonna love everybody And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love Feathering fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. Cuckoo! I love the way God helped Joseph to be kind. Do you know God can help you to be kind too? Anytime you need his help, all you have to do is pray and ask him to help you. Now, are you ready to practice our Bible verse? Love be kind to others. Micah 6, 8. Great job, friends. I'll see you next time.